In the dead of night, a hooded figure removes a base plate for a bollard, then pulls cement into the hole. The aim? To make it hard to install a new one. This footage, obtained exclusively by ITV Meridian, is one of hundreds of incidents of vandalism in Oxford's local traffic neighbourhoods. It's dangerous, it's antisocial, to put it mildly. It plays no part in the democratic process. It will have no impact on the council's decision-making. And I ask people who are doing it and people who know people who are doing it to stop. Those removing the barriers often don't even wait for the cover of night. Now, new figures show just how much this kind of activity is costing. A Freedom of Information request submitted by ITV Meridian has revealed the cost of replacing damaged LTM barriers has reached £73,000. To put that in perspective, it's half the cost of installing the barriers in the first place. And it's prompted the council to spend a further £100,000 to replace them with steel bollards, which will be less easily damaged. The council received the initial cash for the LTNs from central government, but as there was no budget allocated for repairs, that comes out of the local authority's pocket. It makes me feel really sad and it makes me feel really frustrated. Um, it is vandalism, like let's call it for what it is. It's destroying like public property and that's paid for by our taxes. And But much more than that, it's kids, they've gotten used to it, they're maybe like learning to ride the bike and the bollard's been taken out and a car drives straight through. And what I worry about is one day somebody being really badly hurt or killed because the bollard has been taken out. Some say the scale of the damage being wrought to LTNs illustrates just how divisive they are. At the sharp end of it, businesses and delivery drivers, some filmed flouting the rules. Early morning, a journey that used to take five minutes uh, is taking parents 45 minutes. As a taxi driver, customers in the beginning were very abusive because they didn't understand it. They thought we were playing tricks. A journey that was six pound, it, it cost some customers 14 pound, 15 pound. So we lose in custom. For residents, the benefits of these barriers can very much depend on which side of them you live. Maggie Brown has been in Oxford for 73 years. Her home is on an arterial road, which has seen a rise in traffic. I, I just can't begin to tell you how upset I am about it. It's the most selfish thing that has ever been brought into Oxford. My health has deteriorated big time. Uh, this time last year I was in the gym, I was swimming, I was the fittest 73 year old you've met. And now I can't even climb up the stairs without uh, losing my breath. Maggie says the congestion is so bad she's often trapped in her own home and isn't surprised people are taking action to protest the LTNs, which she says are being rolled out against the will of residents. I don't, I don't condone it, but I can understand it because they're not listening to us and that's where the anger's coming in. You know, that and people being stuck in traffic. There is no democracy in Oxford. Want on vandalism or a form of civil disobedience. Either way, what's clear is these barriers are doing more than stopping traffic. They're dividing communities and creating rifts in the city. Charlotte Brewer, Redney, ITV News, Oxford.